Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk North Pocono Trojans football. Luke Fetter, a senior quarterback, joining us right now. Luke, uh, it's your senior year. This is it, buddy. Uh, tell us about how the work ethic has been during the offseason for yourself. Uh, thank you for having me, first of all. Thank you. Um, you know, I think everyone has been working really hard. I think we have for four years now, and since Coach Dolan and the new staff have gotten here, um, he really preaches that to us, and I think we're finally going to see the results of what the hard work will do for us. Well, let's talk a little bit about your team. Obviously, as a quarterback, uh, first thing you're looking at are the guys up front. Uh, tell us about the linemen that you either have coming back or guys that are working hard to get into position to be a starter this season. We have a lot of hardworking guys up front. Um, this year, we're going to be a lot more experienced up front, older guys, seniors, juniors. Um, we have Jake Zwara. He's a big guy up front. He really he really works hard. I think he's a leader vocally, and he gives a good example. Matt Slag is a junior, another guy. Ryan Trotter moving to center, another guy that's going to be uh, help us out a lot up front. And those guys have some uh, some good size to them uh, coming into the season, so you guys should have some uh, some stoutness up front. Yeah, they 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 worked hard in the weight room. They've gotten a lot bigger over the last couple of years. Well, let's move along, Luke, to the skill guys. Tell us about uh, losing Pat Monahan. It's awfully tough uh, in the backfield. Uh, yeah. Tell us about the, some guys that may be able to replace him and or some receivers that you have. Yeah, Pat, Pat gave us a lot of explosive plays over the last couple of years. We hope to see uh, Matt Kelly do the same things. We've seen uh, little bits and pieces of that. He can he can really move himself. But uh, Tyler Musgrave at fullback, too, is another one great player, great two-way player. He does a lot of things for us on defense, too. And uh, out wide, we have we have some talent as well. Um, Tommy Mine has been with me for four years. Uh, J.P. Walsh is a newcomer, a baseball guy. He's really going to give us some speed, along with uh, Timmy Blaine, a three-sport athlete. He can really get it done as well. Luke, when you talk about that mentality of trying to get over the hump, uh, as you mentioned, as Coach Dolan has come in, tell us about uh, do you think this is the year where you, know, you guys are going to try to get uh, some wins and put together a little streak? Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of exactly what people expected. In the first year, you know, a new staff, it's tough. We knew we didn't really have that much. And then ever since the last two years, we improved a little bit. But uh, this year, it's not. no one's really looking for improvements. It's more of like, this is it. Like, it, it has to happen now. It's time to go. We've been working hard. We hope everyone continues to work hard and we um, achieve what we want to. How about uh, the the workouts in the off season? You mentioned a little bit about the weight room. Now here it is, the summertime. You guys will be getting into it in the month of July, preparing yourself for August. What have you seen from the guys as far as uh, they feel confident yet, or do you think that something's going to come as the season goes? Uh, the confidence is definitely building because we have a lot of experienced guys that have seen what it takes to be successful. But um, we're going to need help from younger guys too, and we're still not – we haven't been as successful as we need to be, so I think the confidence will build, hopefully, if we get a couple wins in the early parts of the season. Talk about your relationship with Coach Dolan, because when you're a quarterback, you always have a usually a tight relationship with your head coach. Tell us about the, getting to know him over the years, and, and I'm sure some of that coaching rubs off on you as a person. Yeah, I, I love Coach Dolan. I've had a great relationship with him since he first got here. I've had him as a teacher in school and four years as a coach. I mean, I think we've become very close and I uh I understand what he's about to say to me before he says it negative or positive and uh I try to I try to be his mind out on the field and I hope we're going to see uh more of that this year with uh, actually some successful things I do. Luca, talk about uh, getting through some of the uh the injuries that you've had and, and staying healthy and making sure that you're 100% to help your teammates out. Yeah, I, that comes with sports I think. I, I like to play a lot of sports not only football. I like to be active and uh I know that comes with it, and you push through it. I, I know I'm going to get better. I know that it, I'll heal, and uh, I just try to be 100% for my teammates because I, I know they would do the same thing. They're just trying to be healthy, and they just want to play and have fun. Luke, you're uh, you're like uh, everybody else out there. I guess you're working hard uh, during the summer at a job. You're playing a few sports. Uh, you're probably contributing to stuff uh, with your family. Uh, tell us about uh, what it's like right now to get that support from your family and making sure that you're you're doing all the right things that you're supposed to do as you head into your final year at North Pocono. I, I think I have good people around me. Uh, Coach Dolan, my mom. My mom's a big influence. She uh, she's the number one supporter and. 
she's a teacher in our high school, so she's always there for school, and she's the first one there at a football game. So I think I have the right people around me that really uh, tell me to do the right thing to make sure that I do. And Luke, how about those future endeavors for yourself after your senior year? Are you looking uh, to either continue playing uh, any athletics or uh, academically? Are you looking at anything down the road? Uh, I mean, I would love to. It's the opportunity to present yourself to play somewhere. You know, obviously that would help me out in school. Um, but I definitely want to attend college. I'm interested in business. Thanks to Coach Dolan, I would like to go business of some sort. But I'll have to see as the year goes on. All right, Luke, well, we uh, wish you well this coming season. Should be a big year for North Pocono and uh, seeing what you guys could do. Luke Fetter, the quarterback here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.